guys today I woke up and I thought I need to get the kids out of the house it is so cold outside I think they're getting a little cabin feverish so we're gonna go to the library and go do story time there and I'm like trying to be quiet because if they hear me then they ask tons when we're going so I'm getting ready for the day and on Instagram stories like two weeks ago I talked about trying drunken elephant products it's like a skincare line and I said I'd give a review and the last two weeks my skin has felt so clear and so good but it's just been more dry so I like how my skin feels like cleanliness wise but it's been a little dry so I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I've been using I've been using this for like three months I got this at my dermatologist office you put it on before lotion and it hydrates your skin I'm almost out so today I'm gonna go get some more and then the pure Elise is my favorite favorite BB cream ever and so I'm trying out one of their lotions so between the three I'm one that I like one skincare line or one brand it's like I really don't love to intermix stuff especially when it comes to skincare I don't know why that's why I loved Shiseido for six years that's why I really really liked Rodin and Fields for like a good year I still love those brands and I give it like a five star but I'm just like testing some new stuff out I want to use more like what the dermatologist suggests. So when I've been going there, I've been trying out their stuff. So I'm kind of like in that limbo stage where I don't know exactly what I want, but I wanted to share with you guys the three things that I've been using lately. One and a half cup elderberries and three cups of water. Bring to a boil. Now that it's boiling, let it simmer for 40 minutes. Put the elderberries in a strainer and strain them. And then put this aside and then re- Boil the liquid and then put two cold and flu tea bags in for about 10 minutes. After the tea bags sit for 10 minutes, lightly stir in two thirds apple cider vinegar and two cups local raw honey and two lemons. I only have one, so that's what I'm using. Let it cool for a minute and then you can squeeze the tea bags out and get rid of the tea bags. So once it's cooled a little bit, then add your stuff and slowly mix it. And then after the stuff is mixed, you can put it in a jar for up to three months, it says, and take a tablespoon of the liquid every morning and eat it and then it will hopefully prevent you from getting sick and then if you do get sick like the cold or flu you can take it like three times a day and it will cut your sickness in half so it can avoid sickness and then it can also cut it in half so that's what I'm trying my friend from high school sent me this recipe to make and so thank you so much for doing that so I'm gonna store it in my fridge and I'm gonna make my whole family except Tommy because has honey in it eat it for every day, just a tablespoon every day. And we're gonna see if we can get through the, the rest of the winter without getting sick. I'm super excited to try it. Kids are playing, I'm gonna make that and then we're gonna head to the library. Jackson has been kind of getting flustered at me because he says, what? I know I'm letting the bees take that pollen. He's mad at me because I'm not letting the bees come inside to take the pollen that goes off of the flowers. So don't mind me, I'm just getting in trouble by my five-year-old. But well, they can look at them. But they can look at them, yeah. yeah. Bees what do bees? use pollen. These are, is my new shirt. It has little hearts on it. Is that cute? It says love, peace. What does it say? Work hard. I got this new shirt for Valentine's Day. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it in the description along with everything that I used to cook this stuff with. If you guys have tried it out, you have to let me know. I think it's a pretty big thing. I'm kind of slow to the game, but if you guys have tried it out, let me know if it's worked for you. Kate and Henry. They're holding hands. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Our kids are holding hands. <laughs> of course at the library, Jackson ran to the computers and Calvin ran to the building blocks. That is so their personality. Jackson found the silly spray that we've had for a minute and him and Calvin want to play with it. But I think you guys could go stand in the snow if you want to play with it. So this is gonna be our entertainment for the next little bit. Just playing with silly spray. You guys are so silly. Ah! 
<laughs> you get purple. I want red. You get green. I get pink. Do not say I want green. Don't slip on the ice. Ah! Ew! So gross. Here, Cal. Here, Cal. Have fun. To your heart's content. Have a blast. We're all gonna have fun for a minute. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> all right, here was the plan. The plan was to put the kids to bed, to have our photographer come over and take some pictures of our spring line before we actually do the photo shoot, and that was the plan. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but the kids needed to play for a minute, and so we had leftover silly spray, so I let them run outside and make a disaster and run in the cold for a minute, and then we'll put them to bed. Growing up, this was me. Yeah. This was me. I would lay in bed with Julie, and I'd be so loud, and I would jump on her body, and I would <laughs> cause havoc, and mom and dad would be like, Ally, get in here. And so I would have to stand in the corner of their room while they watched shows at night until Julie fell asleep, and then they'd send me to bed because I'd be quiet. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. And he's just going back and forth. That is me. doing pedicures for, to ourselves, getting ready for our photo shoot this week for our Bali spring line. And nothing could feel happier. Right? I'm so happy. The boys went on a little boy trip that they do every January and or February and we're gonna, you know, hang out together. Up. Jackson and Calvin. Our plan was to have the kids go to sleep while we do this, but the kids are not going to sleep. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How do I reach you guys to turn you off? I'll have Cody get it when he's in my body. <laughs> hey Cody, will you grab me the camera? You have to say my first <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Stay tuned for Jared's boys adventure trip. They are so fun and he edits them so fun. They usually don't do very well because he's like, no one wants to watch me. But it is so good. He gets fun drone footage and the boys have fun. So please watch that video. It'll probably be out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys later. That's what Joel says about his man videos too. He's like, I shouldn't even vlog it. I'm like, you're yes. vlogging it. Well, I told Jared, even if people don't watch, they're fun for me. Like, exactly. you do it because it's That's fun. But I just want to make you guys know that they are super fun videos. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye. Bye.